I started working in, in uh, stock and dinner theaters and stuff, Meadowbrook and uh, Casa Manana and stuff. And Bye Bye Birdie was my first Broadway show with, with Cheetah and them and, and Tony. <laughs> and Tony. <laughs> And uh, then I did uh, a few shows, and uh, um, I, I had an audition, another audition for Bob before Sweet Charity for an off-Broadway show. It was for a part, and I was called back, and I, was, and I didn't really appreciate who he was, you know. I mean, I had seen Redhead, but I didn't really, you know, I didn't really, really know. And, uh, but I was just so excited. But the audition was canceled, and the show was canceled because that was when Nicole was born, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, um, anyway, uh, I was doing, working at Meadowbrook and saw the Actors Fund benefit of Sweet Charity. And I thought I would die. I just, you know, you, 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 I, I was, Da, 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 da. I said, I have to do that, you know. <laughs> and then and when I saw the frug, I said, I've got to do that, you know. And they had an audition the same day that Hello Dolly had a replacement audition. Dolly was 10 to 1 and Charity was. So I went to Hello Dolly in my little pink and white striped thing with a little ponytail, you know. And I got that job. And then I told Ruth Mitchell, was that the stage manager? Uh -huh. I said, listen, I, I have to be honest. There's another audition, Gina. She said, yeah. <laughs> and I said, I really have to go. Can I let you know this afternoon? So I went to the, you know, went and clung, you know, eyelashes and the, you know, all the stuff. And, and, uh, and uh, I got charity. I was the first replacement. And, um, and, uh, and I happen to have a picture of it here. Today. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just so happened, Louise, yeah. myself, and Elaine Cancilla doing the lead in the fruit. So I brought that picture in to show Louise yeah. because she and I had done it. Yeah. <laughs> and you did the proof in the other, the other sweet cherry. Whoa. Oh, really? Yeah. That's <laughs> incredible. Yeah. yeah, I finally got to do it when, uh, um, when Gwen left uh, the last oh, two or three months of the show, and everybody moved up. Helen Gallagher was um, covering Gwen, and Elaine Cancilla was covering yeah. Helen, and I was covering. Elaine Cancilla, so we, so I finally got a chance to do it, and um, and I still hadn't worked with Bob because you know um, Eddie Gasper put me in the show. I had talked with him one time during the show, and I just felt totally in love with him. I you know I I couldn't talk, and he he just kept asking questions, just like you know how, where'd you get started? I said I was, I was married to <laughs> Sheffield, you know I was born just yeah. I'm, <laughs> and um, and then a little later, I got a letter, and he asked me to do the movie of Sweet Cherry. And I thought, does this mean I'm a Fosse dancer? I did. <laughs> yeah. I said, I don't. <laughs> so and we did the the movie and that. And then um, and y'all know after the movie of Sweet Charity, Bob hid for about three years, mm -hmm. not in a bank, but uh, in Canada. <laughs> and he. Uh, he did some projects, but he went to acting school and I think to therapy, I understand. I'm, I don't know for sure. <coughs> and he came back with the Triple thr Crown. He came back with Eliza with a Z, the Emmys, a Cabaret <laughs> with the Oscars, and uh, Pippin with the, uh, Tony. with the Tonys. Um, I'm the only living person that worked on all three, by the way. And... Uh, Besides him. <laughs> He's not living. Oh, living person. <laughs> yeah, okay, and... Uh, wow. No, and uh, when he asked me to do uh, um, Cabaret, I was working at Cinerama Theater, the Song of Norway. <laughs> I was an usherette. I was an usherette, and I was living at the uh, Riverside Plaza Hotel, <laughs> eating tuna out of a can, you know, it kept in the window. <laughs> and uh, um, we did Cabaret, and that, uh, that was actually... I don't have words like Margie that can write. I, it, was, it was an experience that I don't have words for. It was so extraordinary. The, the, I mean, on a film, you know, the detail and the work and the, the company, the crew worshipped him. The extras, they could not believe because he treated people like human beings, you know. And um, 
uh, Catherine Doby, and uh, she was going with the assistant director, and I was going with assistant sound man, and we used to go out and scout. <laughs> 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 We stay busy, <laughs> and uh, um, we used to go and uh, to find extras for the specific st uh, s close up shots, if you remember from the movie Cabaret, and because uh, he had really specific kinds of people he wanted, and um, so we'd go to these sleazy places in Munich, you know, and uh, um, Catherine and I had to talk to the women because, you, you know, you just that was just, you know, because make it more on the up and up, no, more on the up and up, and they wouldn't be, you know, like, you want to be in an American movie, you know. <laughs> but um, language, <laughs> I had taught myself in rehearsal, I taught myself German every morning, so I could speak and read and, uh, <clears throat> and um, write, but I couldn't understand a word. <laughs> <laughs> and Catherine... Catherine had picked up, well, she was from Hungary, so she could pick up languages by ear. So we used to go, and somebody would say something, and she'd translate to me, and I'd talk back, and they, so we'd have a three-way. We used to do that all over Munich. It was funny. But, uh, but back to the movie. The crew, when 6 o'clock came, you know, the whistle comes, the end of work. Now, how many, how many places do you know where the crew wouldn't think of stopping until Bob said cut? I mean, it was just... They, they worshipped him, and he gave the most incredible rap parties afterwards. You know, everybody, the band, the girls' band, who were by the end of the shooting day, were plastered, you know. <laughs> and uh, when they struck the set <laughs> behind the bandstand, there were l gallant little liters and double <laughs> liters of booze of wine and scotch and vodka. It was amazing. <laughs>